Neural atoms are promising candidates for developing quantum devices, and geometric control of each single atom is important for the development. Atoms in a weak field-seeking state are trapped in a magnetic field minimum when they have relatively small kinetic energy. However, trapping single atoms with a magnetic field of a current has never been successful due to the noise generated by the current. Recently, basic research laboratories have succeeded in producing a persistent supercurrent atom chip that can trap atoms with a practically noise-free magnetic field. The experimental setup consists of two parts. One is for cooling, trapping, and moving rubidium atoms, and the other for trapping atoms with a superconducting atom chip. In general, Room temperature atoms move at around 1,000 kilometers per hour, like a bullet shot from a handgun. When a resonant layer is applied to moving atoms, the atoms absorb photons and spontaneously emit them in random directions. By repeating the absorption emission cycle, the room temperature atoms are sufficiently cooled and trapped, and the pre-cooled atoms are transferred to the next stage. Before the transfer of atoms, the atom chip is cooled down, exposed to a laser to open the superconducting circuit, and a perpendicular magnetic field is externally applied. After stopping the laser application, the externally applied magnetic field is turned off to trap the magnetic flux inside the loop circuit. By this, a persistent supercurrent is induced. With an extra bias magnetic field, the magnetic potential of the supercurrent traps the pre-cooled atoms. In the experiment, the atom surface distance was estimated to be about 300 micrometers with an absorption imaging technique. With superconducting atom chips, Single atoms will be trapped by increasing the bias magnetic field and reducing the atom surface distance. Therefore, quantum devices will not be so difficult to develop. Gaseous phase atoms in a vacuum, which are independent from each other, are good sources of quantum bits. If many single atoms are coupled to a single optical resonator and controlled optically, the result will be a small-scale quantum computer, and it will pave the way for global quantum computer development. <laughs>